Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, you guys, I hope you're in a positive mindset today. I know we're already at what, 1.13 p.m. here in Baltimore, Maryland, but you know better late than never. All right, so you probably watch tarot and oracle readings on YouTube all the time. So you really know how this go, okay? So I need you to use your spirit of discernment. Decipher what's for you and what's not for you, okay? You leave it. Don't even try to carry it with you. Don't try to make it fit, all right? My spirit guys will drop some jewels, okay? But everything in the story may not be yours. So take it how it resonates for you, okay? Now, I don't know who I'm speaking to. So I don't know if you're masculine or you're feminine. Flip the roles as you see fit, all right? Um, I do want to set my intentions because I need us to be on the same page energetically. So not only am I a tarot reader, okay? I'm a seer and I'm a teacher, all right? So you're going to get a little bit of everything in here. I do the tarot just so you basically can get some understanding about what's going on in your situation and the energy of what is happening in the people's lives that are around you, okay? So because energy is so very fluid, it's impossible for me to do a reading without someone else popping up, all right? I just don't know what role they play in your life, but you do, okay? So um, also, you know, just take moments throughout your day and even before watching this video to just take some deep breaths all right because that will help center you um even especially if you're feeling like you're getting in an anxious state all right now i don't do these videos once again to trigger you i do them basically to help um uplift you all right to raise your vibration okay so let's go let's see you know what spirit has for us for that today for today's energy i'm gonna set my intentions now thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading i ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings thank you for using me as a messenger protecting me from any psychic attacks any negative energies or any spell work thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly for my collectives that this message re reaches the right people at the right time, in the right places, and so it is. All right, y'all, if you're feeling my vibe, don't forget like, subscribe, and share, and I thank you so much for tuning in and for all of your energetic support and all of the positivity, y'all. Um, I, look, y'all, for real, this is what I'm in it for. I, any advancements, I know guys, you know, tend to want to have their little slick stuff to say here, but I'm not there for this or for that at all, okay? So keep it strictly, um, on a spiritual basis or uh, you wanting to obtain or gain some type of knowledge to help you to evolve, okay? That's the only part of this process I am here for. All right, so let's see y'all. Okay, thank you, my spirit guides. What is the message you have for my collective today? What is it that you want them to know? This is general today. All right, so somebody's holding on to something, all right? Instead of walking away from it, um, I'm getting here that it needs to be released, okay? So whether it's an old habit, old mindset, old ways of thinking, um, behaviors, or a situation or relationship, right? The yin and the yang, all right, just came out. I'm going to show you all the cards in a few minutes. I just want to get the basis of this story started here before I let y'all see. So thank you. <clears throat> Tell me about this. Ooh, thank you. Okay, so sometimes the way these cars flip, y'all, you'd be like, what the hell? What direction did they fall in? <laughs> but that's why. <laughs> thank God. I'm going to see it. <laughs> I need to see. I need to see spirit. All right, thank you. So the walking away card is here again. So I already told you that, you know, someone needs to really detach from something because when you let go of that, it opens, it opens you up for a new beginning, right? Someone's in this yin cycle right now. And with the yin cycle, it's just pretty much saying, you know, being passive, you know, being passive. Um, and it's like this, 
So what happens is it's like the external circumstances is what is forcing you to really go within and examine um, your situation here that you got going on with this person here. Okay, so it's definitely something going on with a contract that's in the reverse position, which includes a person, y'all. Okay, so this could be somebody you're married to, someone you have a friendship with, someone you're in a relationship with. This could be anybody that, you know, verbal contract um legal contract it doesn't matter y'all that's in a reverse so it, it, it definitely seems like there's some type of block here with you and this person um or people right or some type of delay here but that's because you know something is forcing you to go within and examine the situation and see what's going on right because you guys have some drama that's happening around you all right and and i say that because the all tied up card is here in a reverse position so at one time it's a lot of drama but this is this is you're coming out of that okay and and really what i'm getting here is that because of the um you thinking and reflecting um, and really going within to find some answers here. This is what's helping you to get out of that that mental anxiety, if that makes sense, y'all. Okay, you know how you have a lot of anxiety and you get stuck and you're confused, um, and a lot of the drama that's happening is not. It's also because it could be some, you know, other issues outside of you. But a lot of it is because someone here is um, they keep themselves mentally oppressed. Okay, now um, for the most part here, right? You are starting to break those ties that are bonding you or binding you, okay? So, a, the situation here that may have been stuck is now opening up, all right? And the restrictions are clearing out. So, this is what you do need to know about this, all right, for the most part. Now, and that comes from what? Taking that time to go within and to really find those answers there, right? Because it's not outside of us, right? It's within you. That's where the freaking magic lies. And I think that's where we tend to get confused about our situations and why we have the drama. It's like, okay, you have the power here to really control or, 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 or change the story the way that you want it to be, right? It doesn't have to be a situation where there's conflict or there's confusion, Okay, you just have to make the conscious decision here to detach yourself from confusion or to let yourself go, um, release yourself from the things that no longer serve you, right? And that's down to old habits. Again, remember false beliefs, right? Emotional patterns. All of that stuff is like you have to detach yourself from that drama that's on external factors and also internal factors is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull my tarot, y'all, so we can get into the meat of this. Thank you, my spirit guides. This was in the reverse. Sorry, y'all. I got to place my cards right so I can see. Tell me about this uh, feeling today here. What's happening here? Thank you, my spirit guys. Show me what I need to see. What's happening in my collective world? Help me to speak it. Ten of Pentacles. Upright. Somebody's thinking about their Ten of Pentacles, man. I'm talking long term, okay? I'm talking about their stability, um, relationship milestones, being a stable couple, you know, from an emotional and material standpoint, okay? Somebody's talking about having something rooted in their legacy, all right? This is what whoever, if it's you or if this is the person in your life, they're thinking about their Ten of Pentacles, y'all, okay? Now, tell me about this, all right? And reaching success, look at this being recognized for the most part not failing at it okay but seeing victory within this situation okay now and achieving this goal right temperance card came out but it came out on the side all right so i'm gonna read it almost as if it's on both sides it's like it's like you're teeter-tottering on balancing out the situation right it's it's like one side of you is at peace with um going with the flow of it then the other side it brings an imbalance right because it's one of these things here where you may be thinking in excess about it like just excessively worrying about something that you shouldn't okay and instead of really ad adapting to the situation and working in harmony with it you're kind of teeter-tottering on what side of the scale you should fall on right instead of balancing some leadership right so that that hey shoot you might be dealing with the air sign you might be an air sign okay now for the most part here you have definitely feel like you failed in this situation all right now you may feel like you failed um or if you you may feel like you haven't been recognized right i don't know what what side of the spectrum you're falling on here but you do 
you're not fulfilled for the most part, right? Either way you choose, either way you think about it, it's almost like there's a lack of fulfillment um, that takes place. It's like, all right, if I stay, um, it's not fully what I envision for myself. If I go, I know I'm going to be missing a part of me, right? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position, okay? So for the most part, um, that's low vibrational energy, y'all. Reverse Knights, yep. They, they take and they tend to become workaholics or put all their energy into working. Or they can go on the other side of it and be extremely lazy and risky and not put in any effort. All right. But when you are, uh, when you become the workaholic, it's because you're trying to avoid um, or you find this to be a way of you dealing or coping by distracting your mind. Right. But that's not working. Okay. Because that literally keeps you from facing the problems. It's a distraction. Right. Where and instead of you facing it head on. You throw your energy into um, other things, okay? And it, it still ends up making you be risky. It still ends up making you neglect situations because you're neglecting the problem at hand, okay? So this may be why you have this um, this harmony here um, with this person here that you feel, you know, you got a bond with, right? Now, or you may have a business with, whatever, however it resonates with you, right? But um, with this nine of swords here, this is my wounded warrior, all right? So I feel like a masculine energy here that I'm picking up or may be very fearful or anxious at this time because of the future. <laughs> Let me tell you, two of wands because of the future, all right? Trying to make some type of progress and on top of that, stepping outside of their comfort zone. So I know, you know, it's this feeling of someone feels like they need to make a decision, because this is about their future, right? And before, in the past, it may have been a lot of bad planning and overanalyzing it and not taking any action, right? Um, because of overanalyzing it, someone's really planning this. How do I step outside of my comfort zone here to create something that's balanced? To be able to work with this person with the Three of Pentacles. To be able to share the same ideas and our goals where we can collaborate successfully, right? With that Ten of Pentacles, okay? Because successfully as a partner, all right? Now, with the Fool card in a reverse position, of course, that's just like someone is being really distracted or maybe have been reckless in their energy here. And running from the situation instead of taking a chance, all right? And I do. I have a Knight of Wands, which is the masculine energy, okay? So if you fall on my masculine side of this reading, yeah, this is you, okay? You're ready to get some things done, but it's the problem with the commitment to it, all right? So that's the problem where it's hard for you to take the risk, okay? But the Knight of Wands also is someone who takes risk. But it's the thing is, it's like, okay, I'll take the risk, but I'm still having a difficult time with wrapping my mind around committing to, you know, whatever this may be. Okay. Now, thank you. Tell me more about this. Then. Show me what I need to see. How it, does this need to be handled? Advice? Outcomes? Yeah. Someone definitely wants to give more wants to be able to be more generous, okay? Wants to share more. Wants to be able to have a good relationship and a supportive relationship with this person or with you, okay? Now, with the King of Swords energy, of course, still operating on the masculine side, right? Being very strong in your communication and your logic, trying to be clear in your thinking about this. It's like... No manipulation is even, you know, in the equation right now. No being selfish, but straight, pure, um, trying to be very clear about what it is that you want and desire for yourself alone, right? And um, hmm, I really feel like you two push each other to be your best. So whoever you're connected to, right? Y'all do. Y'all really really push each other to be your most authentic selves and to even go to the dynamics of really thinking about what it is, you know, internally that needs to be worked on, right? Now, if your person doesn't feel this way, maybe it's you that I'm feeling that literally is like, okay, this person triggers me. What What is it here that I need to see about myself? Okay, what is it here that I need to work on <clears throat> within myself so that I can reach my Ten of Pentacles? Whether it's with this person or without this person, right? 
Ten of Pentacles and I'm sorry, Ten of Cups in the reverse position. And clearly, you know, this is an unhappy situation. Okay, you guys have been separated from each other. Um, and, and it's like for a while. That's all I hear is for a while. I don't know what how long, but for a while you have been separated from each other. The, or this has been a very unhappy, difficult situation for a while. Okay, so a lot of external factors play a role in why you guys can't reach your happiness here. Thank you. Instead of going within, right? To find what, what it is you need or the answers, it's external fact that someone keeps going outside of themselves, okay, to get that. Thank you. Ten of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. So y'all can see it, okay? Now, this masculine energy here. And even with you, if you're feminine, you may be burdened by the situation, but I really feel like this masculine energy here has some responsibilities or type, some type of obligations here that may be um, feeling, making them feel like, you know, they're burdened. So it's like one of these things here where, it's, where love is just period, it's like a burden. Relationships are a burden, right? But then they end up still creating situations for themselves that keep them burdened, right? Because now they have an obligation that they have to fulfill. And for the most part here, it's like, they don't want to come together and work with uh, someone as a team because of the burdens. Okay, so you you may end up hoarding all of the responsibilities by yourself, or you may be the one that's putting most of the uh, majority of the energy into the connection to try to make it work, right? Or to try to grow something out of this, okay? But they come from a lower vibration. So basically saying that it comes from an energy of arrogance or an energy of just running and being unstable instead of facing the burdens head on instead of facing not even facing the burdens head on but facing that part of you that creates these responsibilities or facing the part of you that create that makes you feel burdened by a situation right instead of doing that it's always constantly running from themselves right running from that part of themselves that need to be healed okay now um for the most part thank you my spirit guys show me what i need to see What does my collective need to do? Will there be balance? A lot of the problem here, see, look, Spirit just said you gotta release that other that other energy here that's in your um that other energy here that's a part of you. It's a third party situation, so it's 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 it's, it's someone else that is the external factors it's someone else here that you shouldn't be aligned with that is what is creating a lot of um a lot of this so basically if i'm thinking of it on energy or if we think about it on a person um so however it resonates with for you or if it's even on a situation it's all about releasing that that's part of where the oppression comes from that's part of where the addictions are happening at right this is where that it will push you or this person here to operate in their devil energy so instead of releasing it and freeing themselves from that, right, um, and reclaiming their own power, they give it away, all right? But for the most part, it seems like someone is in this energy of releasing this Queen of Cups in the reverse, okay? So with this Queen of Cups in the reverse, um, either, you know, this person here could be acting insecure or this could be you that's insecure for the most part about your past, about what you have done in the past. Or this person here that you're connected to is someone from the past, okay? Or someone that you have known and um, and been dealing with, right? And for the most part, they are insecure and they may be overly emotional and codependent and it's like, uh, it's so many things that you're trying to tread or walk on eggshells about around this person here because you want to, because they operate in this lower energy, you want to be able to keep the, try to keep the peace, right? And not upset this person, but it, it doesn't allow you to be your true self, right? And then it makes you feel oppressed. Okay. So this is where the burden comes from. It makes you feel like um, you are trapped, just put it that way, right? And it messes with your, your judgment. It makes you not be able to really think clearly, right? That's why you get all tied up in your mind, all tied up in drama. Or you could be operating in this energy where you just playing out just either being insecure, 
okay? And overly emotional and needy and codependent, okay? And it's something from the past here that's generating that energy and it involves other people that contributed to it, right? So take it how it resonates for you in this story, okay? But for the most part, with my three of cups in the reverse, that's third party situations, um, people you have friends with, you know, people you rec reconnected with from the past, relatives, it doesn't matter, okay? Someone you're intimate with, it doesn't matter. But for the most part here, it's like you may not even be shit clicking with this third party person, okay? Whoever, you know, it could be, you know, you may not be simply in alignment with some of the ideas. And it feels like it could be um, on both sides of the scale. So if you got you in the middle, and these two people on the side, it's no harmony there. It's, it's, it's an imbalance on both sides. Okay, so let's see what this is about. And then I'll go into pulling um, some other messages here so we can kind of shift the energy for the most part. Show me what I need to see about this. So the High Priestess card came out. So what I'm hearing here is is you literally have to tap into your intuition when it comes to this, right? Tap into your higher self. Listen to your inner voice, right? Because you're getting these downloads and you're getting the answers on what it is that you need to do with this situation. But for the most part, it's something here that's hidden. And spirit is saying it's going to surface. You're gonna be you're gonna see it. You're gonna be able to really see the truth. When it comes to this third party situation. Thank you, Spirit. Your person here is going to be able to see the truth. It's no more. It's no more. It's no more not seeing through the lies. Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. This situation will make you miss out on the opportunity is what I'm hearing. If it's not released. I'm talking about emotional, your stability, you'll have money issues, especially within that situation. Because it's not vibrationally aligned with uh, what you're supposed to be doing here. This is what I'm hearing. So you got to have the strength here, right? To be able, especially during these uh, distressful times that you're going through, to have some type of resiliency here, okay? And find that compassion and find that empathy within you that will be able to bring you together with this person here, with this contract in the reverse. With this person here, because even the high priestess came out, and that could literally be a person. So a high priestess is someone that also represents a divine feminine. Okay? So it's definitely a, a yeah, it's feminine energy here that you're connected to who operates, um, for the most part, it seems like, in their higher selves. Okay? And what I'm hearing here is like, you got to have the resiliency, especially when it comes to whatever hardship. You have to have the strength and you have to have the confidence here because, of course, you're going to experience a loss or you're going to experience some type of hardship, of course, right? But that's codependency that keeps you in that energy here of feeling like you lost and not communicating honestly with people is what creates the hardship, okay? Now, with this death to rebirth card in an upright position... You know, this is about a cycle of transformation for you. You have to go through a transformation here in order for you to get to some type of new beginning in your life. All right. In order for you to be able to gain new beliefs, to change your situations, you have to not be fear of you. Sorry, you have to not fear change. You can't cling to the past. <laughs> okay. And you can't lose hope. Thank you. <clears throat> So that's a that's a powerful message for you today. You know? What is what what overall what does this masculine energy really want to do when it comes to this contract? Broken heart. It 
it's almost as if this masculine energy here cannot get past the heartbreak or the heartbreak that was caused. Okay? And that's the part here that really keeps them bound, feeling like they failed. Right? Because they created and caused so much heartbreak. How does this masculine energy feel about this person here? Or how does my person, my collector's person feel about them? <laughs> so they're blocked in their intuition when it comes to you. They don't understand. It's hard for them to understand. But it's because they're blocked in their intuition. It's hard for them to see what they need to do here within this situation. It's hard for them to see the bigger picture. Okay? So this is why they've been all tied up this way. But as you can see, Spirit is saying that that's being released, right? So let's talk about that. Can you tell me about this all tied up card in reverse there? Maybe you are releasing the drama, right? You're releasing whatever mental anxiety that has uh, been created from this situation, right? Thank you. What is this all tied up card? Right. Yeah. Someone here now has switched to a state of hope and a state of trust. Someone is now deciding, I'm going to trust the universe. And I'm also hearing that, you know, you may have been being tested and you passed. <laughs> You're starting to learn to trust the divine. You're starting to learn to trust the universe, okay? Because you endure so many different challenges here that have may have, may have held you back um, with the situation or even in past situations, but you stay connected to source. And this is why your hope has been renewed. And you're realizing here that, you know, anything is possible for the most part, right? So you decided to choose hope, <laughs> Even though you guys had this very painful ending here. Even though it feels like the contract was broken. And holding on to it. You still offered kindness. You still offered to bring balance and harmony between you two. Okay. You still offered peace. <laughs> right. And not vanity. You didn't allow your ego here to keep you from losing your hope. All right. So if, if that's what you've been feeling, that's that's for you, right? But you know, if you're still tied up and feeling hopeless here, that's not you. Someone's coming in as a queen of wands in an upright position. And this king of swords in the reverse, low vibrational energy masculine, has definitely been um, not really taking any type of action and not being uh, less, how do, I don't want to say, <laughs> all right, so being direct and um, having a clear vision, you know how you have this clear vision and you take charge, just being a ruler, right? Being rational, right? Haven't been doing that, right? But for the most part, operating in their lower selves here and I'm getting here is now trying to have some type of carriage here or trying to be resilient within this situation. Okay. Especially, right? If it if it doesn't go the right way. Okay. If if it if it's something here that ends up changing for the worse, it's like this it's like this masculine energy here is literally focusing on a negative or bad outcome. That's part of codependencies again once. And that's why they're operating in that lower um, vib vibration here, okay? Instead of things changing for the for the better, right? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. That's still that's still around greed, codependencies, things like that. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. They stay in a hopeless state. Thank you. Instead of manifesting what they truly desire for themselves, they keep it an idea and 
they don't try. They lose sight and they lose their inspiration here because they've been stuck on the wrong side of the wheel for a long time with the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Bad luck, bad karma, right? And failing their queen of wands in the upright position. This person here, if you're, if you're masculine, has literally been by your side, no matter what. Very compassionate person, very passionate. I'm hearing, okay? Very positive and uplifting energy that they have, okay? And the biggest thing is the heartbreak that you've, you've caused, okay? Or, or you know, flip the roads if you're feminine watching this. They, they, their biggest problem here is the heartbreak that they cause you. And, and look. The sun card came out and my three of swords in the reverse. And what I'm seeing is things are going to get better. Shit, the sun always outshines the darkness, right? The sun always rises in the morning. Okay. And with the three of swords, it's like, that's reconciliation. That's recovery. And if you keep a positive mindset, right? Because positivity is what leads you to your success. Okay. Not being in a dark place. But the sun helps you to get closer and closer to your new beginnings. The sun helps you to draw in the right people um, in your life, right? Because you stay radiant, okay? You stay high vibrational, okay? So the sun represents success. And that's literally what will take place in this situation. Someone's been really worried about um, their Ten of Pentacles, for the most part. And I explained what the Ten of Pentacles were in the beginning, you guys. So, you know, you should be really connected to that at this point. But someone is really worried about that. And what I'm hearing is that, you know, hey, this person here is radiant. And right now what they're doing is they are radiating that, that aspect of themselves, of who they are and what they stand for. And Spirit is saying that they're abundant. People are literally drawn to this person because they are always positive and they always see the brighter side. And because of that, they will see the brighter side. They will see success. Wow. And they will recover. Okay? So, wow. This is what I'm getting from that, you guys. So, either way, if there's a reconciliation or if there's not, you will recover. Thank you, my spirit guys. If there are messages you want to leave my collective with. Woo! Y'all, oh, hold on. <laughs> Sometimes the cards be hot. So I got the Lord, which is the Emperor, the Drum, and the Traveler. And it's time to move in a new direction, I'm hearing. You know, it's time for you to walk away from those old patterns and old beliefs and old mindsets, right? Old ways of thinking, old habits. It's time for you to shift, okay? Take charge with authority. And that's what the Lord, that's what the emperor does. Whether you're masculine or whether you're feminine, take charge of this with authority, Take charge of yourself. Stand in your power is what I'm hearing. Sorry, you guys. I'm looking for the freaking book. I just had it, but hold on a second. Because I want to be able to give you a clear and direct message from those cards. Even though intuitively, I already really, I really know. But no, I still, I still feel led to do it. And I'm going to find it. So it's here in front of me, y'all. So just give me one second. I just have a lot of decks. All right, so sorry, y'all. So I did. I forgot. I left the book in the card. That's why I can't find it. But um, in Dream and Journey, right? So with the Dream and Journey card and the Traveler card next to each other, y'all. Come on, this is something here that seems to be a part of a dream and a journey for you. So one second, Drum, Angel, and Ancestors, Oracle deck. 
I don't even need the book because the mighty internet always got the answers, y'all. All right, so the drum card. Let's see. So with this card, hold on one second. <clears throat> So the drum card basically takes you to the next bold. It helps you to take bold steps, okay, in your journey. For the most part, it says the forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you, supporting effortless action. This is not a time to push against the river. The current will take you exactly where you want to go once you jump in. Okay, so collect your power tools and summon your carriage because it's going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. Come on now. Sure. That's what I'm saying. I got to I got to look these up because literally it's telling you some real stuff here that you need to do within this situation um and being bold angel and ancestors being bold here um and making these steps and these choices for your life is definitely essential because this to me it sounds like whatever is going on here whatever is happening is about your transformation you know it's about you um evolving your own evolution here okay aside from whoever is connected here in your story it's about you at the end of the day you taking a charge with authority over your life Okay, and over yourself and making a conscious decision here to rise up and embrace a higher level of consciousness. Now, the road you are on may be the road less traveled, but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for you, your emotional and your spiritual growth. If it isn't about covering out a distance, it's about covering distance within and you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten your load because that will make your journey much more sweet. You are also being encouraged to see how far you have come and how far you've really grown as a person because this recognition will support you in going even further and there's a good chance that along the way you'll make new friends, new alliances, new networks, new associations, whatever it is, right? And you and they will be companions for a lifetime. Okay, so check this out. I mean, enough said. Right. Enough said here. Right. So sometimes we we be too so much in our head and, and instead of releasing that mental anxiety and embracing the journey. Right. Because success is not about a destination, y'all. OK, you're forever evolving. You're forever growing. You are for, you will forever create successful opportunities for yourself. It doesn't just stop at one point in your life. Think bigger. All right. That's what I just heard. Spirit saying, think bigger. Think beyond your your natural mindset. Okay, think beyond your ego. Think beyond your old beliefs, your old patterns, your old um, ways of thinking and living. All right, so y'all, I'm gonna get ready to go because I feel like it's gonna get extra. <laughs> and I don't wanna get extra in here, okay? And I do got a personal reading I wanna jump into, but I did wanna give y'all something um, to uh, to chew on. All right, until I get to my zodiac sign readings, I'm um, finishing out the rest of them for today. Um, I think I will drop some twin flame readings, y'all, but um, I, it just depends on how much time I got in my day. But thank you for tuning in. Once again, I love you guys. Peace.